this is Debbie from Lime Digit Design and thank you for joining me for Doodling with Debbie. This month I am stamping flowers with Distress Inks to get an easy watercoloured look. I use the Blooming Meadow set for this card. It has a range of beautiful flower and leaf images uh, along with matching dyes. I arranged all of the outline images on a piece of Archer's Cold Press watercolour card in the Mini Misty and stamped in Versifying Claire Nocturne Ink. It took a few attempts to get a good impression on the textured card, but that is the joy of a misty. You can keep stamping until you have what you want. I know there are other gadgets out there, but I like to rub over the door of the misty with soft cloth to help things along. These are the bamboo cloths I keep handy at all times. So useful and I just throw them in the wash afterwards. Once I'd got a good black outline, I lined up the matching solid images for the flowers. My plan was to stamp the flowers in a light blue and then have a palette of darker blues and black to bring into the flower centres and add shading detail and interest. I set up a palette of faded jeans, chip sapphire and black soot on the Tim Holtz glass mat and I had a jar of water and a brush to hand ready beside me. I stamped the flowers in speckled egg distressing and then liberally spritz with water and dab some of the colour away. I wanted to get a light wash of colour over the flowers that I could then add to. I stamped solid images onto the outlines and then while the card was wet, I picked up colour from my palette with a damp brush and added to the wet flowers. The added colours blend gently into the water. I kept the concentrated colours close to the flower centres and base of the blooms. I did add to my palette with speckled egg distress ink and used the more concentrated colour on the flowers too. I then repeated the process for the leaves, stamping them in bundled sage distress ink along with lots of good drenching of water too. Perhaps too much this time as the ink was very light in colour, but I added to it with a brush with more bundled sage and then for a deeper colour I bought in forest moss. I even added a little speckled egg to tie into the flowers. I added a final touch of darker colour to the flowers and then set about to give them a good splatter. I used Winsor & Newton Permanent White Gouache, Perfect Pearls Powder and leftover inks. My best advice for splatter is to just go for it. If need be, practice on a scrap piece of card too. Experiment with different brush thicknesses, how dilute you make the mixtures, etc. My preference is for an old size for a round brush that I always use the bristles are old and slightly splayed, but maybe that helps. Once dry, I added the matching dies and kept them in place with 3M Micropore tape before running through my Gemini Junior die cutting machine. I've only just started using Micropore tape and like how easily it peels off. I set the flowers aside while I worked on the background. I cut a pound of the card to be just slightly smaller than an A2 card base, and then using the Spring Boho Circle and Opaque Mac Texture Paste, I swiped the paste through the stencil with a palette knife. I returned to the palette of inks and paints at the side of me and splattered with white gouache, perfect pearls, black soot and speckled egg distress inks. I added foam squares to the back of all the floral elements and arranged them on top of the stenciled background. For the greeting, I love these Dymo inspired labels from Tim Holtz. I chose a thank you sentiment and then cancelled out the stickiness on the back of the label with anti-static powder before adding foam squares and adhering it to overlap the flowers. I cut and scored a card base from Ivory Card and added the fog panel to the front with foam tape. To finish off, I added Nouveau droplets in sea breeze and duck egg blue, along with eggshell pearls kept in place with Gina K Connect glue. Finally, I accented the centre of the flower with a few white dots from a gel pen. And that completes a simple card, stamping with distress inks to give a watercoloured look. On the Simon Says Stamp blog you'll find a coordinating blog post, as well as details of the supplies I've used today. If you want to find me, I blog over at limedoodedesign.com. I want to thank you for joining me today, and I'll see you next time.